this video is all about time, as in, I don't have enough time, I gotta pull something together for this. You know what, watch this teaser and I'll come right back and we'll talk about time. Hey, it's Tuesday, time for another Prompt My Story video. I'm Marty Chan, a kid's author, playwright, and storyteller. And every week I put out a video with a story starter to help teachers motivate their kids to become writers. And I also share some tips on how to become better writers. This week's story prompt is going to be connected to this week's writing tip. If you want to make a story interesting and exciting, all you have to do is put a clock on it. Now, what do I mean by that? It means you've got to make sure that whatever action your character has to accomplish has to be completed before a certain time. So you put a clock on things. If you don't, then there's no pressure. There's no urgency to get things done. For example, if I had to solve a Rubik's Cube, I could take my time, hours, days, and weeks trying to figure out how to solve this cube. I could go on the internet and find the solution and then try to do it all over again. Now for me, trying to solve it, it might be interesting. But for you, watching me spend hours and days and weeks trying to solve the cube, yawn, might not be that interesting. To make it more interesting, I put a clock on it. I say, I have to solve this Rubik's Cube within five minutes. Suddenly, that activity becomes much more urgent. You'll watch me panic as I spin the cube around trying to figure out exactly how to solve it. I might be screaming in frustration as I try to get all the pieces into place so that the patterns are solid on all six sides. And at some point I might get so frustrated I'll just hurl that thing against the wall and curl up into a ball and cry saying, I can't do this. Now think about that. By simply putting a clock on that one scene, it makes it way more interesting. Now, you could have an actual clock on things. In fact, if you look at some of the old movies that your dad or grandpa watched, James Bond movies or action movies where the hero at the end of the movie, they would have to defuse a bomb and there would actually be a clock that was counting down to when the bomb would explode. Now those are old movies, and so in today's times, you can find other things other than a literal clock that's counting down. You could have things like, oh my goodness, I made a mess in the house, and I have to clean up the mess before my parents or guardian get home from work. That's a kind of a clock where you need to get something done before somebody shows up. Another way to put a clock on the story is you race not only against time, but you race against somebody else. So you've got to get your activity done before your arch enemy completes it. That's a way to make the scene more urgent and more exciting. Now, to connect this week's tip to this week's story starter, I'm going to show you a little clip, an activity, and I want you to write a scene inspired by it, but I want you to put a clock on it. Make it urgent. Think about why that person needs to complete that action before a certain time runs out. All right, here's the story prompt. There you go. Now you got to think about how to put a clock on that scene. It could be a literal clock that's counting down. It could be trying to get the action done before somebody comes home. Or it could be a race against your arch enemy. You decide how to put that clock on the story, but use it to make that scene way more urgent and exciting. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button. It lets me know that there are people watching and want to see more. And speaking of wanting more, if you have your own suggestions for videos you want me to make with writing tips, post it down in the comments. I'm more than happy to try to come up with videos to help you become better writers. 
In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great week and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.